The next thing we should discuss are the types of styles that we can use when creating CSS. I've got this PDF open here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, it says types of styles in Dreamweaver. That's just whatever. Don't worry about that. But it's types of styles in CSS in general. We have three. We've got tags, classes, and IDs. Now, if you're used to working in, let's say, Adobe InDesign, you're probably used to working or you have worked with character styles, paragraph styles, and maybe you've worked with even object styles. Those types of styles, if you've used them in InDesign or even Cork Express, will help you or prepare you for working with CSS because there are three, okay? And, and they each kind of serve a purpose. There is overlap, and we'll see that, but here's what they mean. To start with a tag style, tag style literally means that we can create styling or formatting for our page that changes an HTML tag. So you can create a style, a tag style, here's an example, called P, that's the name of it. Now we have an HTML tag called P. In our styling, if we say, okay, every time you find a P tag, make the font this, the browser's gonna go out to your HTML, look for that tag name, and anything in that tag, in the P tag, in the paragraph, is going to become that formatting. It's going to have that formatting applied. These tag styles are awesome because you can say, hey, find every heading, find every paragraph, find every image, and apply a border, make it this color, do it that, that. And it just, it's like a search and destroy. I mean, it just finds it and, ho well, hopefully not destroy, hopefully it designs, but it just finds that tag and applies the formatting. The next type of style we can work with is called a class style. Class styles are, if you come from InDesign, let's say, class style is kind of like a character style. If that doesn't help you, then sorry, forget the reference. But a class style, you can name anything you want. You want to keep it simple. It has a dot in front of the name. That is key, you guys. If you're going to create these, we're going to type them in, and we're going to do that. You got to put a dot in front of the name to tell the browser, hey, it's a class. A class style, you go out and select something and apply that class style to it. So it's not just going to go find things and, and apply itself. You have to go apply it and say apply here, 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 and here. So that, those are class styles. Class styles you can use as many times on a page as you want. Tag styles, can any tag that it finds on the page or pages for that matter, it will just change. Okay, it'll format. ID styles are the third type. These are a little more specific. An ID style you can only use once on the page, okay? It means you can only apply it one time on the page per HTML page. It has to have its name. It's got to have a pound sign or a hash in front of the name. And you can name it anything you want. I could call it supercalifragilistic. It really doesn't matter. As long as you keep it simple with no spaces, that's the idea. An ID, a lot of people have in the past have used to style things like their header, their footer, with what we call content areas, like the yellow background here, if you take a look. We use an ID style and say, hey, apply it to this box, this thing, and give it a background color of yellow. Now, the reason why we might use an ID is because we're only going to have one box on the page. Suppose we have a header. We're probably only going to have one header, so you can create an ID style called pound header. Now, we also can use classes to assign to our areas, our content areas, and We'll talk all about this, don't worry. But I just wanted to give you just a just kind of an intro into the three different types of styles that we can use, a little bit about what they do, and the naming conventions that you got to use with them. And we're going to, as we go through this whole section, you will see more and more, don't worry. Uh, but like I said, here's an overview to the three types of styles in CSS. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the basic CSS styling that every site starts with.